Oh, come on, again with this. Right, come on. Uh, there we go. I I don't get why that just happens every so often. But anyways. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Please, and Mike, Lieutenant Rakir, at your service. <laughs> and welcome to our new Saturday game, Titanfall 2. <laughs> And uh, yeah, this game is quite something. It's gone through quite a bit of history. Uh, I, yeah, even the, even the, uh, <clears throat> even the company that make uh, made it and hopefully still maintains it with updates respawn. Uh, yeah, they're former Infinity Ward people who left after well they got shafted by EA. And then they made what I'd say is one of the stupidest mistakes ever is because they went back to the dark that bit them. Uh, but yeah, uh. they're basically, to my knowledge, stuck in the uh, Apex Legends mines now. So yeah, hopes for a Titanfall 3 are low. And yeah, the reason we're starting with titanfall 2 but not titanfall 1 is because titanfall 1 is a multiplayer only game it does not have a story to my knowledge it has lore but no active story to go through <clears throat> yeah okay. it, hopefully it goes better this i think we you know we showcased this on a sunday we did the multiplayer with hex and uh, um. I, I don't think it was the showcase specifically, or at least not one of our typical ones where you do multiple ones in a row. Yeah. But we for... did do a bit of uh, this game with Hex. Yeah, <clears throat> and I do remember. I remember it was a horrible time for my info. But it was a little bit laggy, choppy, and whenever someone, especially you, fired the machine gun, yeah, my screen just ended a pixel storm. I could see nothing. Yeah, I, I think in part it was probably because we're... I think we were using game capture back then, where nowadays we use display capture to record the games, which runs a lot better. And, well, also the fact that it was being run over, well, online, which was also eating up broadband from Discord being able to the screen share. Yeah. And, yeah, that's going to get shafted first. Okay, that was a pack of batteries falling over. Let me just put those away. Always but, best to have just a fuck ton of spares. The reason I see these people is, after that time, I was like very much against dreaming this. But after testing, yeah. I'm I'm more willing. Yeah, we ran a test of this a bit back, not with streaming, but yeah, the screen share was a lot more <laughs> well behaved. So we'll see yeah. if that stays the same. So yeah, all campaign missions will be locked, da -da -da -da, will be reset, yes. Yeah, hello in chat, bra <laughs> crazy Jess. Hello, yes. Welcome! Of all the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier, the pilot is the true dominant force. Fast and agile. Graceful, yet devastating. Perceptive, resourceful, and relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Sheer walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. Experience in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. But what truly separates the pilot from all the grunts and machines of the battlefield is the bond between a pilot and a titan. Titan, a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force. 
or an equal. The frontier has been the only home I've ever known. For years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, and killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, we have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. Now, I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor. Okay. Yeah, they put quite a bit of work into that, didn't they? Oh, hmm. yeah. Cooper's logbook. The 9th Militia Fleet is en route to attack an IMC-controlled planet called Typhon. Zero civil in presence. I only know that it houses an IMC military research facility. Aboard the James McAllen, my pilot training continues with Captain Latim uh, yeah, Lastimosa, a master-level pilot. I'm not sure why he chose me, uh, why he chose to be my mentor, but this is an opportunity I'd be crazy to pass up. We have seen a bit of this with the testing, but we'll go through it all the same. Here we go, Rifleman Cooper. Oh, hell. Ship must have power cycled the Simpod since last time. We'll have to recalibrate it. One and two. Right and yeah, the third confirm look controls. Always nice when they manage to sneak these in some way. All right, I... we're good to go. Let's see how much you remember from last time. Setting the neural link. Not quite the same as a Titan link, but it's similar. To learn new skills, we need to be in the right state of mind. Ah, much better. Technically, I'm not supposed to be training you, but in you I see potential. Besides, we're at war. Who's got time for classes, eh? Here you go, up and over. Please pick up the pace, enabling jump kit assist. Jump kits operate on the principle of relaxed ability. Once your jump kit calibrates to your movement style, enhanced mobility becomes second nature. Let's see, let's actually take a look at that. I'm I get the feeling there's supposed to be something we can activate there, but it doesn't say anything. Yeah. Uh, oh, let's see. Gonna... Auto sprints. Uh, I'm going to read yeah. the chat. Uh, let's see. From yeah. Prisoner, yes. Titanfall, what made you want to play this? Well, the last, game that we fin <laughs> the, the last game that we finished on Saturday had, uh, well, <laughs> cyborgs. So might as well keep up somewhat of the theme going with, well, less cyborg, but still a fusion of man and machine. <laughs> uh, let's see mm -hmm. okay let's just keep it the manual you can man a mission oh him really what you, you, you just accidentally said part of the beautiful lyrics to centurions <laughs> nope that was fully intentional Go. Now you're Wall run. Under here. Stay low. And I was more going for the Miracle of Sound up. song. Follow the ghost. Man and machine. <laughs> We've retaken over a quarter of frontier space since the Battle of Demeter. Militia's better organized now. More people join every day to fight the IMC. People like you. We used to just run and hide from them. But now we chase them. So uh, yeah, I'm see typical corporate baddies. The what does it actually Combat. stand for? I don't Things know never yet. Go as you, you must be ready to use any weapon you can find on the field. These are just a few of the weapons I've come across out there. Standard the range. It's the bunch of these. Firstly, the one I like the most is this one here. 
Though it has been a bit since I played this game, so I might just have forgotten. Load your weapon. There we go. To get more precision, aim down the sights of your weapon. Good. Practice more if you want. Get to the gun. Simple enough. All right, got a new gauntlet for you to run today. Part time is two minutes. Got to do better than that to continue. Follow the ghost, or find your own path. Okay, and yeah, this is something that I believe just Pilots <laughs> a lot of people just. Go wild for. The or is where we practice those Yeah, the, the the amount of movement that people can pull off in this game is well maddening <laughs> to try and see. <laughs> And yeah, a lot of it has to also do with keeping up your momentum going. And yes, we can wall run through ooh, smooth corners. But yeah, I am hardly a veteran or even good at this. Nice run. See the results board on the wall? You set a new best time. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses. So be sure to run this a few times with different weapons. Look at the results board for more tips on how to improve. Now that you're warmed up, if you want a real challenge, you can race against other pilot ghosts. Word of warning, oh. though, the pilots who recorded these ghosts are the best in the SRS. If you can beat them, you'll be on your way to being a real pilot. Go ahead and run the gauntlet as much as you want. When you're done, I've got something special to show you. Yeah, there is absolutely oh. no way that I can do that. Uh, yeah. How would... Is that even possible? Nope. Someone made it possible. I'm presuming that even the player base has probably managed to lower that to below 20. But yeah, I am not going to take on that Sisyphean task. So... All done with the gauntlet? Yes. I'm ready to see what's next. Good. You're gonna like this. Time you learn the other half of being a pilot. The Titan. Let's go call one in. Aren't pilots the only ones allowed to do that? It's only a simulation rifleman. It's not the real thing. But first, we're gonna need a little more space. That's my partner, BT. He's a Vanguard class. Homegrown militia technology. First Titan chassis we designed ourselves. One we didn't have to steal from the IMC. Go ahead, Rifleman. Go on your first Titan. Yeah. Look up to the sky. There he is. All right, Rifleman. Sounds like it's about to hit the fan. I'm pulling you out. Powering down all known essential systems. Cooper, yeah. ready up. Easy, Cole. You just left VR. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Trust me. Yes, sir. It's up. They're killing us. Trying to, anyway. Good session in there. You'll get the hang of it someday. We'll make a pilot out of you yet, Rifleman. But not today. No time. Last of Mosa. Anderson. You son of a bitch. See you down there. We're going to see a new planet today. Maybe even die on it. See you down there, Rifleman. Good luck. Thumbs up back. <laughs> Get your ass out of the Simpod, Cooper. Meet at the dropship. Uh, yeah, let's just go with regular. Can change at any time from the pause menu. Always good when you get stuck on some points. Yeah. And also, I feel like there was a predator reference there. <laughs> okay. The handshake, you call him uh, the B word. <laughs> Let's see. Operation Broadsword, 9th Militia Fleet, Destination Planet Typhon, Mission 
Infantry support for SRS classified operation. IMC occupied frontier space. Hello in chat, Marco. <laughs> it won't be the combat getting you stuck mostly, it will be the navigation. Instantly turned the ship. Mark eight, Mark of course it did. <laughs> Occupant, militia rifleman, class three, Jack Cooper. Stabilize. Two hundred and fifty milligrams of sense fentanyl administered. Caution. Temporary side effects. Nausea. Dizziness. <laughs> That's one of our own. Okay, miss that bit. Don't cross a line of fire, you idiots! I wonder what kids doing that to me on Deep Rock. Uh, gotta move forward. Job to do, eh? We make corpses, we don't clean them up. Let's go.
It was supposed to be dragged away or swept by the water. Transfer authorization to new pilot. Link. Bra <coughs> Bravo Tango 7274. Trooper, take my Titan. Use my helmet in my jump kit. This is the real thing. Take care of him. are found. Jack Cooper, a bunch of numbers, A+. Plus. No clue how old. <clears throat> okay, personal cloak. Ordinance. Yeah, yeah, now we actually have a HUD. Okay. I'd never get used to the term HUD. <laughs> Mostly because it's spelled the same for Swedish word for skin. <laughs> okay. The Titan needs a battery. Power low. So, Insufficient power. You mind. Sufficient power. Okay. Bring it up with a pointer towards where to go. Let's see. Okay. You can have two different weapons. There we go. Double jump offline. Okay, so now going this way. Calibrate into new pilots. Yep. User master distribution. Okay, that makes sense, yeah, then. Because if you're just going to set off a rocket on someone's back without knowing, uh, well, <laughs> their center of gravity, you're just as likely to, well, throw them over than launch them up. Yeah. I'm a talk of that. That just makes sense. We're relocating to the IMC beacon at Tap Crit 7789. Pilot helmet collected. Okay, reclamation facility. That's where they're trying to gather. Okay. And it looks like there's debris raining down from orbit. And yeah, to help with navigation, we can get these. Interstellar manufacturing. Okay. So yeah, basically space WalMarts. If you refuse, you will be eliminated. If you show up, you'll be eliminated anyways. There's no profit in keeping prisoners. You have it's a very, very weird view of Walmart. <laughs> but yeah, keeping uh, keeping prisoners is a costly matter. We work for whoever the IMC say we work. What are you trying to get? Metal? I don't care who's giving the orders. Blisk and his mercs, General Marder. 
all that matters is that thing in the mountains goes online as scheduled. You think it's true? What the Texas are saying about it? Do I look like a bloody anorak to you, mate? But if it is true, then the militia are going to have a very bad day. Do you know what I mean? What thing in the mountains? Cloak. Bye. Okay, where are they? There's one of them. Okay, just making sure so that I don't get myself caught in between two. Yeah. We <laughs> also, what is the arm strength on this guy? Good question! But yeah, one big thing, especially... One thing in this game, and especially in the multiplayer, is to keep moving, because if you slow down, you become a target. Let's see. semi-auto sniper and they just don't know where the hell I am so they're just shooting at random things well is that why you're always way ahead of everyone else in this uh, in any multiplayer game maybe Oop, he got sight of me there not that it's going to help him you're so far away from us the rest of the group that you become the target uh, anyway So I guess we can blame this game for that. No, you won't, dude. You're not holding anyone off. There we go. And double jump is active. Okay. There we go. Let them help us a little bit. Or, or nope. did I? <laughs> okay. We were going for the same one at the same time. Okay, these are the specters. Basically, just robot troops. Oop. Typically deployed as snipers, I believe. There. Don't waste time with your superhero landing. <laughs> there. Oop, no need to deal with that one. Probably would have been smarter to let them finish each other, each other off, but oh well. We need to keep moving forwards. Oh, what are all these things? Yeah, some sort of... Yeah, predators, of course. They look... They're That's reptilian of some sort. Yeah, no, they seem to take up the niche of being... It kind of look like between the niche of a... Yeah, lion and a wolf, if that makes sense. It seems to have a bit of a characteristic of both in the way you move around. Mm. Could be. That okay, is simple enough. I must remind you that you are on the planet Titan. This is an IMC controlled planet. There are many wild creatures out on the bounds of our installation. And we will ensure your personal safety with a prisoner of And we're heading into the remains of the McCallum. At least the one with the paws, and their their paws can look kind of wolf-like. Hmm. 
I'm actually heading in the right direction for this. must have been a charging bay before, well, it got destroyed in the crash. Okay. Let's get out of these graveyards. Oop. I think those scales... These ones, I get the feeling they're supposed to be part of camouflage or something. Yeah, do they seem Ooh. to also be a way of communication for... I saw the other cutscene where one of them were getting pissed. Yeah. So camouflage, uh, possible intimidation. Yeah, eh? Yeah. Yeah, by... These things are rare, we should sell it. No bloody way. Those weren't Bliss's orders. That guy doesn't scare me. None of those mercenaries do. Sure, you say that now. Just wait till they got a gun to your head. So about a gun to your head? Yep. Power low. Insufficient power. Okay, I completely missed that there was a third one. Yep. I also see... There are many biological things on an island that can be used for multiple reasons. Yeah. Two-thirds. Data core reinitialized. Ocular system online. Adjusting focus. Are you all right, pilot? Yeah. Who are you? I am BT-7274, a Vanguard-class titan of the Militia SRS, Marauder Corps. You may call me BT. BT. Got it. My systems are rebooting. But a third battery will accelerate the process. I will remain here. Okay, we need to find another one. Yep, there we go. Okay. Now, Until how the heck mobile, do we get there? I will assist you through your helmet radio when possible. Okay, big guy. This way. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's try and get out of this foobar situation uh, alive. Pilot, I advise against turning yourself over to the IMC. Voice pattern analysis indicates they are lying. Ew, that can get stuck here. Well, don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. Understood, but I do recommend you move. IMC salvage teams are not far away. I mean I'm not leaving you. It is a common requirement for pilots to maneuver in situations without a linked Titan. He's in charge of these Apex Predators. Top shelf mercenaries, invitation only. I'm surprised you've never heard of it. Heard of that gig? Maybe I'll become a mercenary. <laughs> Ow. Pilot, my mapping systems have been restored. The ambush of the 9th Militia Fleet has landed us far off course from our original destination. We are located in hostile territory. Be careful, we cannot stay here long. It's a freaking LMG. How long did you serve with Lastimosa? Captain Lastimosa linked with me 973 days ago. Sorry. You guys must have been close. He was an excellent pilot. And a good friend. Ew. Almost lost all momentum there. I recognize that voice. Ew. We know I, I don't remember the actor's name. But I do remember the character's name he had played as. Yeah. Here we go. Hilk. <laughs> 
Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he also voices freaking... <laughs> freaking Kratos. Uh, I, I'm blanking on his first name, but I think his last name is Smith. Or, no, no, Christopher Judge. I think it is. Christopher Judge. Yeah, I th it's kind of awkward. I, I re only remember his character's name, Teal. You know, <laughs> it's a very unique and surprisingly simple name to remember. Yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. One over there, one over there, one over there. Fourth one there. A fifth behind you. Nope. Okay. There's number five. Okay. I hope expected that to my juke to be real there for a moment. Something move. It. So much for attempted stealth. Well, suit has an emergency cloaking ability. This can help you survive dangerous situations. Right, I was to say is help never really been used strong suit. Yeah. This is going to be fun when we get to well thief and such. Oh, get that right. thing off our ass. Red, get rid of that. Okay. Well, that <laughs> that's worked somehow. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's just a, a taste of how hectic combat can get. Oop. Arc grenades. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm taking you. Uh oh. I think I saw some propaganda there about trade and freedom. Yeah, wouldn't be too surprising with these types. Like, trade is good, but what they are doing is just stealing from others. Like, yeah. Hello, boy. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so if we're in the air, we just straight up kick. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Up this way. Okay. Okay, it looks like the salvage teams are already getting to work on trying to pick these things apart, or at least preparing for it. Who is this voice? This is the commander of the Marauder Corps, a section of the Militia's Special Recon Squadron, or SRS. Her name is Sarah Briggs. Hmm, her name was on the list. That's Briggs. Is there anyone alive on this ship? No. Scans do not detect any life signs within the MCS James McAllen, but 90% of the lifeboats have been ejected. There is still hope. Not going that way. This way. Oh yeah, this game is basically what you get if you were to combine Call of Duty with Prince of Persia. Okay. The complete opposite of a stealth game and still we're going through the vents. Ah, there we go. Okay, this, yeah, this must be the storage. 
Okay. Now I have to get back to the big guy. Yep, boing. <laughs> Miss. Ow. Salvage Okay, they, they found BT. There we go, better. Okay, so those things are called prowlers. Pilot, but they are prowling, so. compromised. Vectors. Okay, it said earlier that we can hack these, and I'm guessing we can only hack... Oh, holds! Okay. There we go, okay. That explains why during the test they all turned hostile. We need to hold it. <laughs> Let's see, can we hack multiple at a time then? Yes, it looks like it. Okay. Those drones are IMC scouts. Enemy reinforcements will be on their way. We must complete the neural link immediately. Please install the final battery. Uh, I want to say this. I want to remove or do the comparison to uh, Doom instead. Probably. But don't think. Oh, full capacity. Yeah, don't think you can really punch in Call of Duty. Neural link in order to proceed. Please embark when ready. Here we go. Acting pilot of BT-7274. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Our orders are to resume Special Operation 217. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRS. I'm detecting incoming enemy forces. Protocol 3. Protect the pilot. Reinitializing critical systems. Vortex shield online. The Vortex Shield catches incoming rounds and missiles. Release the button to launch any captured objects back at the enemy. Oh, holy! Yeah, these scout drones aren't the smartest. Are those syringes? No bullets. Pilot, hey, the Acolyte the... Pod is online. This shoulder-mounted rocket pod will lock onto multiple enemy targets. The longer you hold down the button, the more locks you will achieve. Uh, yeah, we've gotten a taste of this fight as a rifleman, as a pilot, and now we get to have it as a titan. weapon control and motion link reestablished. Safety. Get ready. You sure about this? Yes. Trust me. Ah, there you, you are. Like that's nice the way he talks. Yep. Militia Titan spotted chassis number BT 7274. Making fire. Uh, yep, we could even catch rockets and send them back to sender. Not bad, Pilot. Not bad. Electric smoke? Yep. Well done, Pilot. Our combat effectiveness rating has increased. Pilot, I detect more IMC salvage teams on the way. 
Our only chance of survival is to uphold our mission of rendezvousing with Major Anderson. Until then, you and I are on our own. Marking your HUD. There we go. We must like move this. quickly. It sounds like a weird alternative name for Lightning Cloud. <laughs> or your Funnel Cloud, you know. Uh, I think it could be compared to like Red Phosphorus from uh, Metal Gear Revengeance, as in it's not just smoke, but it has particles in it that screw with, well, electronics. Or your electronic means of detection and such. All right. Okay. <clears throat> this Titan, BT7274, says I'm his acting pilot. Whether I'm ready or not, I have to make this work, or I'm dead. My only chance of survival is to uphold Lestimosa's original, mis the original mission. That means rendezvousing with his commanding officer, Major Anderson of the Militia Special Recon Squad. <clears throat> Another 60 clicks to go. 60 kilometers. Pilot, the IMC will continue to search for us. Our only chance of survival is to rendezvous with Major Anderson, 60 clicks from our current location. We will have to improvise and adapt if we wish to survive. This is Wombat 3-2. We're taking heavy casualties down here. Any military forces, please assist. We've suffered heavy losses. Ah. some food in the machine okay and yeah different titans have different weapons and such now oh, you're going somewhere <laughs> straight to hell okay get get out of the way this isn't swats for okay Oop, incoming to some infantry that doesn't know how to uh, hide. Okay, and Burst Corps basically charged attacks, ultimates, you could say, comparing to like modern hero shooters and such. You really should be paying attention to the sides, dude. <laughs> yep. Rayborn. Vanguard class Titan spotted. All forces press the attack. Okay, bad time to need to reload. Crack that open, get a new battery for some health. Dude, Shaver, you need some batteries. Okay. And what have we here? It's... Back for now. Okay, tracker cannon. <laughs> and welcome back. Let's see. We've got the expedition loadout here with the vortex shield, electric smoke. Yeah, each of these comes with their own weapon and stuff. Particle wall, sonar lock, reveals enemy is in an area, grants partial lock on, and tracking rockets, fires missiles at fully locked enemies, requires full lock on. Okay, and the salvo core is guided missiles that follow where tone aims. Tidal Let's try that out. May give us a tactical advantage. I think somebody's in love. A human's concept of love requires admiration, attraction, devotion, and respect. Conclusion. I am 50% in love. Pilot.
<laughs> with the tone loadout, <laughs> we can lock onto enemies and target them with tracking lines. That will be useful in direct combat. <laughs> I did not expect him to say that. I, 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 I have a feeling uh, the voice actor have a hard time not to smile after some of these lines. Probably. Okay, it would have worked better with a full lock on, but still. Up that close, it doesn't matter. is blocked by a flow regulation gate. There should be a control interface nearby. Up there. If you're really going to try and take pot shots, you really should just <laughs> use your rockets only. But yeah, we can't have all our fun with BT, so we do need to pop out every so often. He's alive. Ooh. Did he not die? And yeah, well, we're our... just... Go ahead. I think, why do so many of him just pop off? Probably because just the amount of force behind the guns and such. Yeah. Plus, it's also a good way to show that the character that, that an enemy is dead. Uh... And yeah, whilst we're out, uh, BT will give covering fire if possible. I think it's a bug. Oh. You shot a game without a helmet. But when he died, a helmet spawned from the... just popped out from his head. <laughs> okay. Bad time to move, dude. Trapo, have you ever heard of helmet straps? Oh, hello. I think that symbol next to it... What does that... Does that mean that this one's upgraded or something? Pull it automatic. Oh, it's, it's, it wasn't an LMG, it was a shotgun. Okay. Ooh, one of those kind of shotguns. Okay, an SMG and a shotgun, I think that'll work. Ooh, also, let me try out these grenades. I didn't get this, I didn't see what the arc grenades did, but I'm guessing they're sort of like a stun gun. This facility is blocked by a flow regulation gate. There should be a control interface nearby. Nobody here. Okay. Maintenance override engaged. Opening flow regulation gate. Warning, toxic fumes dispersing in the main chamber. Activating control room safety airlock procedures. Oh, great, so we're locked in. The safety airlock has sealed you in the control room. You must find another way out. We have no choice but to split up. So some strange dude on that machine. Yeah. I'll find a way out. Hey. A nearby exit will most likely lead further into the reclamation facility. Uh, not that one. The, uh, yeah, go. No, 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 go back, back. Forward, forward, turn around, that way, yes, that, uh, okay then, the, to your, uh, towards you on the stream, it's, I think your gun is blocking it there, yeah, right there on that little monitor screen on the side. Okay, what is, yeah, what is that doing there when there's a main monitor in front of it? Is, yeah, that's, I'm no, guessing this has been slapped together. On its side. You? Someone on the on its side, that's what I responded to. Let's see. Mass and something. Okay. Is that supposed to be an Easter egg or you're someone? Pilot, I am trying to yeah. I'm having fun. Recommend you seek an exit. You got it, BT. You do the same. Copy that, pilot. Okay. If we can somewhat see where BT is. Though he's not being outlined. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm pretty sure... Ooh, hell... Hello? I'm, I'm pretty sure the alternator is like a double-barreled SMG. Are those shurikens? Yep. And it does look like they do have Strauss, but it's... Ew. This is Kane. What we have here, my IMC and militia friends, is a failure to communicate. And that's okay. That's okay. That's all. Oh. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, that was a maintenance one. Kane, a mercenary commonly affiliated with the Apex Predators. A well-known narcotics user and supplier. Uh, oh, hello. Yep. Yep. Kane got unselected for a second. I still haven't been able to identify what causes that. Yeah, but it has become rarer nowadays. Yeah. And looks like this thing is basically like the 50 caliber sniper rifle. Of this world. Single shot, just melon popper. Well, you not, say that not when single the... shot, but uh, bolt action. Yeah, I can see that from the mess you leave behind. Okay, seriously, people. Use your helmet straps. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just noticed that the ammo count just shows up there with four. Okay, what is this? R97? It's rapid fire SMG. Okay, that'll make a good combo with the sniper. Plenty militia left in the facility, just so you know, this is Kane's place. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes to kill you. Which, by the way, not gonna be long. Very friendly dude, huh? I recognize that voice. I kind of kind of want to see how people speed run this game. Yep. It's a friendly pilot, Captain. We got a friendly militia pilot. Hold your fire. He's SRS. Look at his helmet. Okay. Is that what the blue symbol was about? MG. That looks like a grenade launcher. That is a grenade launcher. <laughs> okay, let's stick with this for the moment. Okay. Oop. That was disrespectful. Bowie, Bab, Gartner. Our squad has taken a beating. They could use some help up ahead. Okay. Let's get to my food. Uh oh. L Star. Right. Sticking with this thing for the moment. Car. Recall consistent SMG. Okay, I think we picked this thing up just a bit earlier. Hmm. Another one. Okay, we can hack these things. And they explode if we shoot them there. Back. Wait, this, this thing is pinpoint accurate. Ooh, hello. Goodbye. Yep. 
Oh well, this will be big enough to punch through whatever armor these things have. Oop. Really, dudes? Oop. Oop. Okay, looks like the uh, others were wiped out. Already? Looks like it, and I can't blame him with these Terminator things. There we go. Okay, I need this backup weapon. Back to this one. Hmm. Actually, this one has, seems to have the same the same uh, iron sights as the uh, the car. So maybe it was this one we had earlier. Yeah, the ninety-seven. There's. Pilot's helmets. Okay, just straight up an energy weapon. Let's see. That disturbing sound it makes. Hmm. Not seeing a path to get there. Let's see. I feel like we've been walking for days. Do you require rest? No. Good. There is no time for rest. We must uphold the mission. Ow. Oh. Okay. Don't stay. Don't get caught in the slides. Oh. Uh. Got a visual. It's a bus. You should have just pretended to fall down dead, dude. Yeah, bad timing. Hazardous waste bombs now filtering automated testing facility. Uh, okay, they they really give these grunts just basic training if they're just if they're just running across soup, open firing lines. That sounds like a turret more than anything. So I got word that there's some Vanguard class Titan and an SRS pilot taking out my IMC support. Whoever you are. Not bad at all, my friend. I just hope you're better than the last one I killed. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking the fire stars are thermite. Holy. Okay. None here, or none that are showing themselves, at least. Ow, that was a shotgun. Probably get more use out of this thing. Okay. Hazardous waste pumps now filtering automated testing facility, Dome 3. Oh, hello. There's another helmet. Hmm. I don't know exactly what we could get from the helmets, probably like a. Uh, just unlockable stuff. One of six. And okay, yeah. They're, they're probably hidden all over the place for you to parkour like absolute hell. Pilot, exercise caution. Oh, you too, BT. Where are you? I'm following the stream of sludge. The current is strong up ahead, suggesting an exit. Keep moving forward. 
Okay, he might be over up there then. This I'm I'm used to slums being a lot other blackish brown or green, but this one's red. Yeah. And I don't think there could have been enough uh, malicious soldiers outside for this. So this hopefully isn't blood. Pilot, our paths will intersect just up ahead. Great, sounds good. Scans indicate multiple IMC security forces. Prepare yourself, pilot. There. And then there. And you kind of need to think like Mirror's Edge in this game. Oop, another one of these maintenance ones. No need to mess with that. Geiger counter noises. Long time no see, BT. On the contrary, your helmet provided me with a live feed of your actions. You fought well out there, pilot. The controls to deactivate the sludge flower in the next chamber, marking your HUD. Let's see. Yep. What are you up to? Are you supposed to be cleaning the window or something, but you forgot your sponge? <laughs> okay. I thought this was trying to do some kind of uh, programming, like a, uh, pushing a holographic buttons that they would eat can see, but uh, some women doesn't add, add up to that. It's another maintenance one. Okay, trying to fix the gate that's <laughs> stuck. Let's see how long I can stay I stealth. Security forces. I guess that's why they pay me the big bucks. You want something done right? You do it yourself. All right, scrubs, enough's enough. I'm coming down. Okay, so now you, we can't just melee our way through an entire squad of them. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Oh, I didn't expect like half a dozen to be in one little room there. AMC security forces. I guess that's why they pay me the big bucks. You want something done right? You do it yourself. All right, scrubs, enough's enough. I'm coming down. Oop. You actually survived that, okay. And of course I looked away at that moment. There. Yep, bad time. Someone got sight of me there. Oh, you. Just uppercut them up in the corner. <laughs> okay. Okay, that explains snipers. In order to regroup. I have marked the controls on your HUD. Let's see, anything of interest? Auto shotgun. One of these. Overriding pump filter system. Emergency shutdown initiated. Pump shutdown sequence at twenty percent. Oh great! Oh. Sludge balls contain a high concentration of heavy metals. They are interfering with my targeting systems. How hard can it be? Just shoot! Blind firing into my pilot's combat zone would be a violation of Protocol Three. Okay, makes sense, yeah. 
Because we could get mulled by one of those rounds just as easily. Yeah, and I could grab some ice cream. And only it's a fruit with this, but... Yeah, the Dutch pears are reasonable board are a meal on themselves. They are huge. So be, I probably could knock Hillian out with one. I should probably explain how big these damn things are. Oh, hello, boys. Yep. Blown up by their own <laughs> just self destruct robots. Yep. Okay, these ticks are going to be a nuisance. It, those ticks, the explosive ones. The worst ones. Yep. Wasn't there a bunch of them? Yep. Yep, bye bye. Oh, there you lot went. Okay, need to hide for a sec. Ow. <laughs> okay, I was just about to use the cloak as well. Okay, at least it puts us in more part the yeah, part way through. Pump shutdown sequence at ninety percent. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> okay. At least the game oh, isn't yeah. too easy. Are you all on regular? Way out of you, BT. Okay, let's get out of here. Protocol two, uphold the mission. Our orders are to resume special operation two one seven. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRS. Where is all of this gunk coming from, though? Yep. We just break that just from walking in, in the general vicinity of it. Okay. Yeah, but, but what kind of factor is this even to begin with? You were not invited to Kane's party. And that's why you're dead. <laughs> well, well. Another runaway hero. With an SRS Vanguard class titan. Woo! Now we're talking! <laughs> Bring it down to another fight. Let's get this party started, scrub. Yep. I really? You didn't reload, BT? Yeah, you can take that instead. Ow. Okay, he's using one of the thermite you know, fr yeah, frames. There we go. Where? There you are hiding. Oop. Let's set it off for you. Oop. 
matter of time before I rip you out of that cockpit anyway. Okay. Well, Kane wasn't able well to done. destroy us. Kane's helmet radio is still intact. We should retrieve it. Okay, let's hack into their comms. has a strong history in warfare. This will work to our advantage. In order to survive, we must keep moving. Knowledge is power, after all. Okay. My neuralink with BT is improving. I managed to kill Kane, a mercenary working for the IMC. Now we're back on track towards the rendezvous point in search of Major Anderson. <coughs> yeah, yeah, Anderson. We're still being hunted, but now that we've got Kane's helmet radio, we can at least eavesdrop on enemy communications. Major Anderson went this way. It could be a shortcut to the rendezvous point. I recommend we proceed. Okay. Transferring controls to pilot. Watch I like step. that. I like that there's the scenes in our view with this to so that it's not just a perfect uh, viewpoint. Uh. <clears throat> what is this place? Accessing files. Unknown. What are we doing here, BT? We must proceed through this facility and continue to the rendezvous point with Major Anderson. It is our only chance of survival. Let's see. Scorch. Okay. Yeah, we we can practically swap between these at any point, I presume. Maybe not mi in the middle of combat, but still. <clears throat> Let's see. Thermal shields melts incoming fire and burns nearby enemies. Uh, it fills an area with thermite ignitable gas. Firewall fires a directed wave of thermite and thermite shock wave that engulfs enemies along its path. Thermite grenades. Yep. Holy. A copy of it. This is Ash. Go ahead. Kane is not responding. I think our militia pilot's trying to be a hero. He's got to be headed your way. Kill him. Ash out. Single shots. Who's Blisk? He is a war criminal, wanted by the militia, commonly employed by the IMC. Blisk was responsible for the death of my previous pilot, Captain Lastimosa. Yeah, the very Australian sounding one. Larger scale droids, mechs, or whatever you want to call them. Okay. What's with the pine trees? So, hello. <laughs> did, did you see that? What it just did? Yeah, they uh, had a very big oh crap moment there all of a sudden. Yeah, in sync. They've made, they both made the same body movement at the same time. It looked it's quite comical. Yeah. Uh, can we fit through here or? What is up with these trees or branches that they're dealing with? 
Because this is a fucking big place. Can we fit through? Yes, we can. Wait, there's more to just uh, find out, I think. I think it's on me? There's something? This, this feels like a storage area. A massive bomb that I had. Yep. Maybe if those get close enough, they can ignite each other. Okay, let's not get well. Let's not get knocked aside by that. Pop the cap on those two. That's just a face full of thermite. <laughs> One unlucky guy. Another one coming. Three, two. Okay, not. Ow. Oh. At least death that way would be instant. Because basically, when your brain is just dust, there's nothing left to process. Just every little bit of you being absolutely obliterated. Oh. Uh, yes. There we go. Trying to be a smart ass. Really? Oh, not a Titan. Okay, he got out of that. There we go. I don't need saving. Uh, go more of these. Not that we need them that badly. Okay, that just deals a fuck ton of damage in one go. Yep. And yeah, they can use those cores as well. There we go. Okay, that got a, that got close. Okay, let's pick these up. At least we have a shield to temporarily shield us from damage. But yeah, I, I should I should not have gone as uh, gung ho in that. Yeah. I I gonna guess they are I'm gonna sell these trees uh, for uh, furnace and such. Thanks. I guess like the good quality wood will be very pricey and luxury, but, yeah, but it could. They, they strip one. off the branches already because they have little use for that when the log yeah. is you know, what you want. That's your thing. They could be a use for the branches as well. Let's see, brute. Let's see, quad rocket launcher, vortex shield blocks and returns incoming fire. VTOL hover, vertical takeoff, multi-target missile system, holds automatically lock on as many targets at once. 
and the flight uh, flight core hover unleashing rockets at targets below okay let's see how this goes this yeah, it... cargo lift offers a shortcut through the facility check your hud for the control panel it could be used in a brush for something like uh, palm oil Trust me. maybe so in this case I... wait in pine oil i think hmm. that's core rocket burst for a single... Okay. Holy... Oh, that's how you reload. This thing, I remember this thing. It's a shotgun pistol. You cannot proceed Ooh. through this facility without the cargo lift by marking your HUD with the location of the controls. Mm. Cargo lift. Give me a second, getting called. Okay, apparently I'm getting asked to tag along with something. So... What? <laughs> yeah. Apparently there's some event going on nearby. Uh, let's see, do we have a checkpoint? Okay, load check, you know, checkpoints. Uh... Well, they yeah. are, so that's a case of if you want to or not, I guess. Yeah, they're making it sound like it's something special or something. It is the weekend, and the markets here are typically on Wednesdays, so it, it must be something of importance. Uh, okay, I, I can... What we can do is to end the stream early here, and then maybe just do it part two tonight. I'll be up for that. Okay. Uh, yeah. No time to raid anyone, so... Yeah. yeah. They're getting impatient downstairs. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll continue this later today, then. But uh, for now, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Rikia, for joining. And, yeah, until tonight or next time. Be safe, everyone, and have a lovely weekend. Until... Uh, yeah. Until next. Okay. Test one, two. Okay, so that important thing I needed to come along with, not worth it. it Anyways, welcome important back. important to begin with, with what you told me. Yeah, apparently it's a... Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> a yearly market fair, or whatever the specific word would be. I, it was mostly just market stalls and such, with your, well, two, three uh, little uh, fair stuffs. But yeah, that was not worth it. Without the cargo lift, by marking your HUD with the location of the controls. Yeah, I'm not sure how that was important. Cargo lift activated. Yeah. At least last year there was a stall that had like a few old retro games and such, like for the Wii and so. But not this year. Uh, mm, I think I'll swap out because I'm. Yeah, because of ammo. Okay. Now we just gotta make our way back to BT. Uh -oh. 
asset for your sign. Ash to Kappa 3. I have located a security breach. Loading dock 13. Over. Roger. Kappa 3 en route. Out. Pilot. I cannot free myself. Cooper. <laughs> Well, crap. The heck? I, I did not expect that. Let's see. VT-7274 emergency burst feed. Mission regroup with, uh, regroup with Pilot Cooper. Find Major Edelson. Caution. Hazardous mechanical environment. Status. Unable to break free from manipulator arm. Initiating attempt number 35. Failed. Attempt number 36. Failed. Pilot. Pilot. I need assistance. Like the automated security in this place. Yeah, less work, you say. Well, you certainly have, don't have to worry about work when you're dead. If, if you just hit so, me with a rocket launcher. If you so do it by being the way how you punch them. That's, that's a big one. What the heck? I like that it actually has used that the clip isn't full because they, they were firing with it. it. Makes sense. Now I have to ask you here. Does your parents have a habit of telling you, let's go, let's go, without telling you where to go until you're in the car or something? Yeah, I think that has happened a few times, but not too much recently. If you read me, I'm being taken to this facility substation. BT, how do I get to you? You must follow the pipes to the lower levels. Warning, losing contact. Uh, this would have been the way to get there easily. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add this to the list of uh, potential I'm sure if I dare to meet your parents. Okay. I think it's more a thing that they expected me to have already figured out that the fair would be there because of, well, work being done with the setup and such, but I I didn't pay any attention to that, so it would have been nice of them to at least check in, like, hey, you remember that that, that fair is today, right? Uh. Devotion ramps up fire rate over time, and it has a little scanner. And that was another maintenance bot that I just murdered. Speaking of killing, okay, this is basically like a miniature chain gun. Slisk, this is Ash. I have a Vanguard class Titan. What would you like me to do with it? I don't bloody care. Just run. Being dealt with. This facility was built to kill. I'm sure I can take advantage of that fact if I have to. Ash. That place is not your bloody playground. I'm not paying you to be clever. You scuttle that place if you have to, eh? Let's go. Pilot, I'm being taken down an assembly line. There may be a common exit. I recommend you follow the flow of the platforms. Not like we have much choice. Pilot, this facility is extremely dangerous. Watch for crushing hazards on the assembly line. Yep. Okay, the fire rate doesn't hold up if you let go. Where did it? Okay. Yep. Ow. <laughs> oh, okay, dear. so maybe not the best. Oop. Also, are you sure that's not what they said? They have programmed so their mechanical arms will work as a part of the security system to capture. Titans. Titans, that's, at least, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of brilliant. 
Yeah. I, 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 give, I will give them that. You? I okay, suspect that the... Now yeah, I almost got... I almost got between the thrusters there. Or be, between moving parts. So that was... Almost died there. Yeah, you see oh, you're still uh, happen. You're no um, longer alive. Uh, let's see. Let's actually swap this thing out. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, any Titan pilot would probably not expect the uh, the damn arms to be part of the security system. Yeah. Yes. Flow, follow the flow. Okay. Okay, so these things get a layer put on top of them. Ooh. Wait, no, but dirt. Okay. And rapidly growing grass? Yeah, I'm presuming the grass gets planted on top of it. As in the already grown grass. Okay, not too sure about this thing. What's this? Semi okay, semi auto precision rifle. One more. Yep. Okay. What? What the heck are they doing? I mean, it, it, Good like, question. Yeah. And after planting, they just remove a ton of it. Okay. What? Or, yeah, it's more like that gets planted on top over it. Or, Okay. Okay. We can use the previous or the, the one before the wall run to the one before that. Okay. Let's wait for the next one. Fully loaded. Just about. Holy. Oh, hello there. Would have been more of you to face me. turrets again okay I've got something for close range and long range now <laughs> it's closed okay okay are they prefabricating buildings here or something I still have to ask, why put so much grass on it if you're going to kill off most of it? Pilot, I'm being taken through an area stocked with prefabricated structures. We are not far apart. Keep moving. What the hell are they building here, BT? Unknown, but I doubt the IMC are mass producing homes. They usually destroy them. Taking these out before they have a chance of becoming a problem. Yeah, these are not going to be homes they're making here, even though they look like they are. Reload. 
a trap for <laughs> Again, just one of the maintenance bots getting in, in the crossfire. I guess they removed the grass to put the, uh, a carpet of grass on other platforms. Not a clue. It. Yeah. I'm, I'm, okay, good throw, whoever was that. Okay, short wall runs with long leaps for the most speed. Oh. Okay, this time we can leave that one alone. Yeah, this gun packs a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is a shotgun, and it's just a semi auto rifle. So if we land a good few hits on those backpacks, they'll go boom. Hit. Here's a visual. Okay, electric smoke grenades, okay. Excuse me, the fuck are they building here? I have played through this game before, but I have forgotten, like, the minutia of the story and such. Yeah, and this is so... Wait... Is that a crash dummy? Yep. Wait, they, are, are they building... Or something? Ow. <laughs> okay, I got lucky on the first up. one. Uh, you, you see what it said on the death screen? Yep, watch out for crushing hazards. <laughs> yeah, I just got squeezed against something where right that. Okay. Need to find a decent point to jump off these things. Oop. Yep. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I almost recovered from that. <laughs> okay. And let's just move out here then. Lost two soldiers. <laughs> Actually, you lost a whole lot more than that. Okay, I, this is definitely something a lot more creative than we see a lot of times. So I just have to fight through a freaking assembly line. Nope, out of ammo. Oh, hello, big boy. I'll take one of these. There we go. Do I now do I have two of the same? Not a full auto with points. Oh well. How long you were you on my ass there? Okay, I think we need to go back on the line. There's at least one around still somewhere. Okay, does that get put into any dangerous positions? Right. It's specifically going slow there, probably to let us jump off. Some of the hell we can jump on here. And almost get flung off.
Oop, bye bye. Okay, I kind of courted myself there. Hmm. I do wonder uh, if we can get away if the drones can see us through cloak or not. Good question, and I am. I hope we get to know what the heck is going on here. Yeah. We. This thing. Suppress that. that ow. Something shocked me. It. Okay, they actually announced when they're doing that. Thank you. Beep. Announce what? Throwing a grenade? Yep. And he shouted like something like E smoke. Uh, e smoke I, out. I don't know if that's actually the military requirement or not to shout out when you threw a grenade. I think it is because, well, the other senior squad need to know. They would very much appreciate knowing it. Yeah. It doesn't fit with the IMC to be pre-building uh, homes, and besides that, it would be much easier to ship stuff like this out in parts if they are for colonization. Yeah, but then also... Pilot. Pilot, are you alright? Barely. That was a meat grinder. You okay? I'm undamaged. However, I do not believe this is a food processing plant. My luck, this place is going to turn itself inside out. Or upside down, considering the circumstances. Where the hell are we headed with this? I was say, the only thing about it being homes that is weird is why have a. So it looks like a crush test dummy. Some of these are getting shipped out partially built from the looks of it. No, oh, that's going to be a twister. I see you, pilot. I admire your perseverance. If only I only infantry droids dedicated. There is only one way out. Okay, now multiple modules are getting put together. The dome above is your best course of action to find an exit. I recommend getting there by any means necessary. Okay. okay. There's the trees! Uh, wait, that's what the trees are used for? Decoration. Rest assured, I will not execute you sincerely. You have my I think we need to get onto the arms there. Oop. There's a helmet over there, but let's not head that way. It's a silly place. Okay, we are most definitely walking into a trap here. But it is our only way out at the moment. Oop. <laughs> One little freaking gap there. There. Okay, that way. Okay. You've just vehicles that have been just glued onto these. Simulation dome scenario activated. Resetting terrain. I'm 
and a few things fall off. But no access for who? For Titans. Okay, what's with this oversized dollhouse bullshit? Is supposed to be very unnecessary expensive loading scenario combat. 127 in dynamic simulation dome 314 now we shall see how impressive you truly are so i love this just to be for combat simulations I was right earlier, so I mentioned it, it, what it was supposed to be for combat simulation. Like a, an over-designed well, nuke town. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I expect it to be like a Delivering kicking the door uh, type of combat scenario. Just, I just didn't expect a whole town. But yeah, new thing. Yeah, that... Yeah, they're way bigger skill than just uh, kicking down a room, room uh, scenario. Scenario 127, load complete. Yeah, great. And they live, live subjects. It's... Okay, they're trading their AIs on live targets. <laughs> Immediately gunned down. Okay. Scenario one two seven load complete. Let us begin. Deploying sectors. Hmm. Pilot, your heart rate is accelerating. Are you in distress? I'm kind of busy, BT. Utilize your cloak. It will temporarily make you invisible. Don't mind me. Welcome to the Discord server. Initiating IMC <laughs> Reaper test program. A Reaper test program. Oh, those things. Sorry. Cooper, the houses contain weather caches. I saw the feet loaded on the assembly line. Your tactics follow progresses. I'm sure you can see the mind if I deploy a few more units. Deploying additional Reaper to test scenario. Let's... Let's try this thing. Great, she can't kill us with her toy, so she has to call in extras. I admire your perseverance. Capital One, eliminate the militia You are clear to engage. Opening the door. Squad, prepare for dome breach. You really think these idiots are going to take us out? Mm -hmm. 
you were saying? Oh, they haven't killed me yet. Plus. I think I pissed her off, BT. I have detected an opening in the outer wall. Marking your HUD. I'm already out. Or actually, yeah, it's the inner wall, I guess. Or... Also, I think I went in a bit too early. I feel like there's an extremely ineffective way of doing combat scenario testing. Yeah. Anyways, we're out. <laughs> she basically could have just kept us stuck in there until we starved, but no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I will let you read that. Yeah. With, uh, emergency burst feed, regroup with uh, Pilot Cooper, find Major Anderson, unable to break free, attempt <laughs> number 63 failed. Reevaluate definition of shortcut. <laughs> Yeah, this is the longest shortcut ever. That pilot. I am dealing with him. Stop getting caught up in your games. Am I not allowed to enjoy myself while I work? Not no. when your work suffers. Point taken. Ash out. Don't worry. With the price I'm putting on his head, you can buy all the toys you want. Sector 4 Charlie. Detonate charges 21 through 29. To all IMC personnel. This is Ash. I am sorry to report, due to your inability to contain the security breach, I have been forced to scuttle the entire complex. Some of you may consider this overkill. It is. Restocking I suggest you evacuate immediately. Really? She's just going to nuke the entire... <laughs> okay. Sore lose or much? Browners? Yep. Yep. Wait, are they taking them out? Uh, let's see. There. Pilot, I do not know what you did, but a series of explosions just weakened the manipulator arm. I have broken free. Yep. This must be the roof of another simulation. This place is falling apart. I suggest we leave. You are not far from my location. Marking your HUD. Over adjusted my aim there. Okay. <laughs> Don't shoot uh, them when uh, they get too close, of course. I'm still confused. Like, do you have. We, we, we this place have, uh, is falling apart. I suggest we leave. Not far from my location. Marking your HUD. Right, also, we saw in the beginning, they had VR things to train with. Yeah. So you expected them to be. You expected them to be able to use something similar for a uh, robot. But. Yeah, I guess maybe not, too. Long way down. Let's see. Oh. Now there's BT. Okay. It, it, it feels very wasteful. Uh, you can never. <laughs> <laughs> Evil mega corporations have never been accused of being the smartest. Okay, I see what we need to do. Yeah, but this is even way more expensive than the alternative. This is a highly dangerous environment. I suggest you would bar by the Okay. Path 3 controls the pilot. Okay, there's a lot of prowlers around. Can they capture live pro- Well, they, they actually... Yeah, they are actually also our plane out of evil. Already on the way. Oh, 
more honor than luck, a lot of morality. Yeah, morality and sanity are typically short in amount. I'll take that. Okay, this way? This way, I think. Therefore, oh. really? They may call them an intergalactic corporation, but let's be honest, they're not a corporation. They just fight already. I want to be Empire. No, that's not a comparison. I want to, I want to say, yeah. Uh, not Mafia. In suits for the, that, that's a brother. Oh, yes, ma Mafia. You should have suits, but they just. Pillager Raiders in suits. Yeah. In disguise of a corporation. Basically, it, because you can't, you can't call them me. Yeah, they, they're kind of pirates, in a way. Corporate yes. pirates. Okay, as long as they don't shoot yeah. at... Yeah. As I was about to say, as long as they don't shoot at us. Let's just put a high price on your head, pilot. Dead or alive, that makes you worth something to me. Um, is she a cyborg? No, just a wannabe with a mask. So is an android or... No. Good. Okay, at least we don't die instantly. There. Okay, but she is dangerous. That is very obvious now. Yep. Ow. <laughs> okay. It's not actually doing that much damage. There we go. Now we want to stay away from her. Then again, she's dumb enough to run up to her. What was that? One step closer to your death. <laughs> I think you were talking about the wrong one, Ash. Pilot, the security lockdown has been disengaged. I recommend we leave through the tunnel. I did not expect that. A brutal fatality there. So I guess she was a cyborg since blood came out. Now I think it was just a mask. But no, no, he, did you see the rest of her? She had mechanical legs and arms. Okay, so maybe... It, I don't really care too much, but it could just be cybernetic limbs and such. Possibly. Uh, Cooper's logbook. Our journey through the IMC dynamic testing facility was supposed to be a shortcut through some difficult terrain, but it wasn't a very good one. No more shortcuts. We've arrived at the rendezvous coordinates from Major Anderson. All we have to do is find him and get some answers. What happens after that is anybody's guess. <laughs> okay, what's with the action shots? <laughs> Looks like a yes, we are jumping into a sewer or something. Pilot, Major Anderson is here. Investigate this facility. I will meet you on the other side. Do we still have a shoe count? I will avoid all count? shortcuts. Wait, what? 
What did they say? That he said I will avoid all shortcuts, seeing as a Overseer requests all teams working on the arc analysis. Oh, it's this level. General Marder's presentation. Uh, what the heck? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Look behind you. Oh, yeah, it was an android. Oh, robot. Artifact analysis. What just happened? There are distortions throughout this facility, and they appear to be causing a rift in time. I advise caution until we have further information. Artifact? A rift in time? How does that happen? Unknown. Militia SRS has documented several cases on other planets. A common feature of such rifts is a massive energy surge. Be careful, pilot. Oh, great. Neutralizing the militia forces, we will in fact safeguard the existence of the human race, extending it. Yeah, yeah. Prosperous and bright future under one leadership who will, well, not take any opposition. Uh, you don't want to play the audible? But lest we lose sight of the bigger picture. Remember, those losses are ultimately replaceable by the inexorable march of human reproduction. By decisively neutralizing the militia forces, we will in fact safeguard the existence of the human race, extending its reach and power towards a prosperous and bright future. Yeah. When you're, when you're talking about, quote-unquote, Telling people to breed new soldiers for you, you are not the good guys. And um, wait, hold on. They also said by exterminating the militia, they safeguard the, you. Basically, eradicate all opposition, no matter how minor. Reminder: identification credentials must dumb. be displayed at all times. Any suspicious activity should be reported. Really just bullying one of the maintenance bots. Okay, bigger fish found. Actually, wait, those... you seen them? Uh, yeah, before? we've seen those in the first level. They, they were flying overhead and... No sudden guns at the back of our heads. Been to everyone here. Their bodies have aged unusually. However, some show signs of weapon fire. Hopefully, Anderson's alive. Anderson is a veteran SRS pilot. He has survived multiple covert missions within enemy territory. Yep. Now, I don't Strange. think getting aged out I'm of existence will. Traces of my own data signature within this area. The distortions must be affecting my scans. Are you going to be a problem? Okay, now they're just scavenging, apparently. Interesting. I'm detecting traces of a massive energy explosion throughout this facility. However, your helmet data does not detect the same in the other timeline. I just like the fact that we can just cling to walls and slide down and instead of having to drop down. I'm pretty sure to a certain level there is no fall damage here, but still better to be safe than, uh, <laughs> than a splatter on the floor. None and yes, I have been noticing you. The genetic profile of Major Anderson. He may still be alive. I recommend you check the main lobby of reception. I would accompany you, but unfortunately, my chassis will not fit through the door. Oh, lucky you. I detect sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> I bloody knew you will come. Hello, Durbin Lord. Durbin, Durbin Lord the First. <laughs> Hello, Durbin. Let's see. Hello, you both. And I see my favorite talking robot. 
Oh, I did not do what's one of your favorite, but I know you like uh, mecha stuff. <laughs> yeah, the, the the corpses here have been basically mummified. But uh, yeah, remember that one uh, level from Dishonored Two. Uh, uh, hold the mission. I'm detecting a faint biosignature on the upper level of the reception lobby. Recommend you investigate. I'd say the one with the mansion, but that would narrow it down to only a few more. Oh dear. What's next? Rum arriving? I'm here. Continuous <laughs> oh bloody! <laughs> security to evacuate all tier one personnel. General Marder and his key team members are transferring to remote observation. <laughs> Timing on that. <laughs> Hello, uh, Rum. Hey everybody, I'm here. Also, you might wanna you might want to put a pin on that, you know, like, like a clip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> clip. Open for editing afterwards. <laughs> it's the freaking summons. Uh. Uh, hey, Rob, how are you doing? I am cold. In the meantime, I'm, uh, uh, yeah. I'm overly hot because I'm wearing a sweater. It why? I'm warm, but uh, at least I have some thunder. Satchel. And rain. I'll take that. Wait, hold on. I have thunder, rain, and sunshine. But yeah, I went out earlier, and well, outside it's cold. Yeah, let's see. Not going through there. Oh, oh, oh have, hello. Uh, what? Oh! I imagine that must have been painful. <laughs> Yep. Uh, well, so much for finding them alive. BT, I found Anderson. He's uh, in the ceiling. Objective complete. We have rendezvoused with Major Anderson. Very funny. My intention was not humor. Also, you're uh, holding a second AK-47 that's in ball pop. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, I think you can go offline, dude. <laughs> I think that was... I think that was probably merciful at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Pilot, if you hand me Anderson's helmet, I will analyze it. Okay, just what the fuck is going on here? Command of Special Operation 217 now transfers to you. Congratulations on your field promotion, Pilot Cooper. Another one. is Anderson's mission briefing from Commander Sarah Briggs of the Militia SRS. Major Anderson, two weeks ago we intercepted IMC comms. They found something on Typhon. A massive blast of energy was discharged at this location, creating time distortions. I want SRS on the ground to infiltrate the facility. Roger that. I'll get some answers. This wrist-mounted device we recovered during Operation Grizzly should protect you. We know the IMC have contracted Kuvin Blisk and his mercenaries to protect something critical there. So watch your back. And Anderson, you know how much I love writing death reports, so don't go it alone. The SRS is a team. And the SRS is history. Pilot, the data Major Anderson collected appears to be incomplete. We are duty bound to uphold and fulfill Special Operation 217. Did you need to crush it? Anderson's wrist mounted device I'm before not, proceeding. I don't even know what he did to the helmet. It stopped existing. I didn't see any device on Anderson. It must be on the other half of his corpse. I detect a breach in the security services building. I will provide access. I will remain here and scan the ring structure while you investigate the facility for intel and the missing device. Improvised and proof. Nice. Maybe next time you can throw me. Noted. Okay, well, up we go. Oh no. How are you? Ow. An artifact. I was 
plans earlier if we weren't interrupted uh, earlier today? If there were aliens in this game? I gotta say this probably are. Okay, we don't want to stick around for the next time we flash back. Uh, I actually... Uh, I, know, oh. I know the animals are being played for them, but like... Uh, your KIA. Again. Well, good thing this place is fucked temp. <laughs> is fucked time wise. Yeah. But honestly, I went to like a uh, alien civilization. Nope. Just Space Walmart being. Well, Space Walmart. But they. He mentioned the handling some artifacts. Yeah. When you're given a very specific mission and you fuck it up. So badly that the entire area is a hole in the space-time continuum. Oh dear. Yeah, Picard would look at this place and go, why? I'm probably, yeah, at, I'm probably wonder if Q was here. Actually, actually if the Voyager crew was here, they'd pro you know Janeway would probably try and shoot the anomaly. Yeah. He did before. Okay, there's so many of these, I'd probably better to just fucking run. Personal breach of security services. Intruder may have advanced cloaking package. Copy that. Laser messages are online. Sending a team to investigate. Good thing those li messages aren't online anymore. Imagine you're going to work and just and yeah. you get capped by some ass by some asshole on the next timeline. Mastiff. Uh, that's a shotgun. And the auto loading. Okay, so one shotgun for another. Minor security breach. <laughs> of course. I don't think breaking the space time continuum is minor. <laughs> but yeah, we are the breach they're talking about. Is it going to end up that uh, that's Anderson's ass? <laughs> and also the other half of the thing we need to get. Yeah. Okay, it's it's going to turn out that we're the cause of this somehow. <laughs> I think. <clears throat> wait, wait. Read, read this. Yeah. Uh, BT auto transcription. MIL, yeah, MIL SRS command I is only up to 17. Situation massive energy blast detected on Typhon. IMC Ares division comms intercept unidentified archaeological discovery. So we might be dealing with aliens after all. Mission, infiltrate Typhon facility, gather intel, discover source of energy blast, to report to Commander Sarah Briggs. Also something I, I just, just thought of. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I was like, so I was right. Yes. We may not see them, but we may see their remains and yeah. other things. And if screwing around with their toys fucks up time this much, <laughs> I have to wonder what the fuck they did to themselves. Uh, and yeah, the reason why BT crushed the helmets well, basically, to deny the enemy a chance of what we've been doing, tapping into their comms, and, well, any other classified stuff on there. Fun trying to explain deniable operations when time travel is involved. Uh, um... Sorry, Anderson. I'll just borrow this TMD. Excuse me while I take this thing from an entirely different video game. Teams proceed directly to the nearest emergency shelter access point due to a That's minor security breach. Please yeah, minor, my ass. The nearest automated security personnel for assistance. Yep. Let's not go there. Pilot this is silly. Okay, try entering the timeline when you're not at risk of dying. Time uh, what the heck is that? Oh yeah, those are the weird alien beasts we... And it's the pliers. Yes. Oh. Do not open while a specimen has been properly sedated. Keep a safe distance. Uh, where's the unlock button? I can't unleash them. Yeah, that would really fuck up the timeline even harder. Really? They put them on these little... ...operation beds? Apparently. 
No wonder they weren't comfortable. Last spotted him heading towards wildlife research. Get the rest of the airheads evacuated and set up a choke point. Hello. Yep. Additional laser meshes are online. Let's box him in. Yeah, I don't think you're going to box in someone if, who can just fuck off to the future. Tac tactics don't hmm. quite work when the timeline is involved. Yeah. When the <laughs> when local time can uh, participate in a pretzel contest, you don't have much luck keeping anything contained. I like how they I like how the AI doesn't magically know where you are, I say as they just spot me. Uh you could just you could just switch the timeline and then switch back. Yep. I just know Hello, boys. weird about those fans. Right You're missing a center. Did he blast one of them? Before jumping into time. Let's see. Don't do the loot first. Goody, remove time travel tech. <laughs> you know, uh, I think we'll swap back, back to this. Bye bye. Okay, so you hmm. have to basically wall run, then wall run again, and wall run. Southeast elevator banks on level four to intercept. Copy that control. On our way, control. I like how they're just utterly panicking to how to deal with us with this. I mean, you are breaking the timeline by just existing. Yep. And they're actually doing this. Wait, do I grab something? I have my headphones on stairs. I can hear. Okay. Uh, Rom? Uh, what do you want me to do? He's he's going through timelines. <laughs> yeah, that's me. You, you just make sure the captain doesn't get stuck in a wall or something awkward. Like Anderson. Yep. Uh, it, yeah, don't get stuck in Anderson. That just be awkward. <laughs> See, in one timeline you have to deal with the wildlife, in the other timeline you have to deal with assholes with guns. Yep. I'll take the beasties for now. Or never mind. <laughs> Once again, I just accidentally shoot one of the maintenance bots. Grenades or something? Oh wait, no, you have C4. Get I, behind them. Try to throw I like C4 it gives a little out of try, try to throw C4 in one timeline, get to the other side, switch back, and then detonate it. There it is. Actually, okay, that nice little bit, it doesn't actually go off. Though I can't, we can, I can't pick it up. Okay. Attention to detail. Yeah, given. I think you're supposed to go up. Try going up back a timeline. Uh, yeah. Beta four, do you copy? Beta four, what is your position? Let's see. These aren't moving. Oh, hello. Who set these up? <laughs> Thank you all the same. Might want to get inside and then switch the timeline. Hello. We have to leave. Oh, he forward. almost shot the scientist. The test must be completed. Pilot, a fragment of Anderson's damaged log may be relevant here. Activating log playback. Anderson log 341. The IMC found something, all right. 
It can fold space and time. They sure as hell didn't build it, but they're restoring it. Whatever they're planning, it's potentially catastrophic. Oh, great. Anderson out. What is it with ancient alien civilizations and just nuking themselves out of space and time, but leaving their toys behind? Speaking of toys... Uh, about, uh, people finding them and not realizing, hmm, maybe we shouldn't touch this. Also, just not Slave hiding camp. anything. Not even bothering. Slave Camp 3, that is so hilariously evil, it's, it's almost not funny. Let's see. This way. Oh, hello. Oh, so yes, people, I'm back. It's fun, with you. Welcome back. Thank you. Andrew is always welcome, and the timeline's fucked again. Yep. We don't test the arc power now. We may never have another chance. Yes, came back. Uh, uh, went with mom. For a, hot, for a hospital thing. Okay. I hope that's going well. At least as well as can be. It's about as well as it can be. Hey, you found a helmet. Oh, oh right. <laughs> switch really timeline. Dude. You might want to switch timelines. You know, jump down and switch timelines. But there. Okay, let's rest for a little bit here. Wait. Okay, a car. Okay, let's check here. Oop, another log. Anderson's log 342. The fold weapons power source is called the Ark. The other one is the grenade launcher. Doesn't look like they perfected the casing. Well, on the one hand, mom's got no problems with her ears. This one's empty. On the other the hand, be her else. heart's a bit iffy for now. She can't drink coffee. She kind of sucks yeah, because she likes coffee. Delivery and en route to the test chamber. Oh. Oop, up there's the fucker. Look, they're taking the time thingy. Yep. And you got spider bots, of course. Yep. I remember correctly, I think Infinite Warfare also came out around the same time as Titanfall 2. Wouldn't be too surprising. So, you know, good timing there. Activision? I can't really say it's Infinity Ward because... Yeah, more like... <laughs> more like Infinity Ward's corpse. Yeah. Then again, I mean, I did like Infinite Warfare, believe it or not. I actually did enjoy it. I can okay. recommend it. And Cryo storage. I may take a look at it. I basically gave up after the first Mon Warfare 2. Because it, to me, the, it felt like the story was just going off the rails. Or had gone off the rails long ago, perhaps. Dr. Jefferson Boyle? It's effectively an action like movie at that point. Test. And then by the third so game, you have Russia invading but all of Europe simultaneously after guess. getting out of an invasion of the United States. For now, I've tried all the exits, but I'm trapped. Damn place is locked down good. All I have is hope. That's what I get for picking a lab underground. What can I say? I like archaeology. Uh, Dr. Jones, you are not Dr. Boyle. Once the arc is in place. Wait, they've got people in bio spaces here? Apparently, and they're probably dead. Now, it's time to switch timelines again. No, wait, now switch timelines. Okay. I, I thought I could walk on I thought I could walk on the, the rim. Yeah, you can't. You need to switch timelines. Mm. Jump in at this timelines. Well, that's a terrifying image. Uh, Look below you. 
Three no, different That's a lot more people in cryo storage. A lot of people who are not in cryo storage anymore. Yeah. Well, also, I think there's a laptop by. If, As I say, I think there was a laptop by you over there. Because they're in cryo storage now, but now they're yeah. not in cryo storage. They're, they're all dead. They're mummified. They're mummified. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's log 21B, human specimen 3.4. The experiments on the IMS Odyssey's colonists are underway. Soon we will discover the long-lasting effects the Ark has on organic matter and brain function. Of course, the fucker just plucked the colony ship out of space and just started experimenting on them. Yep. Ugh. When you sign up to go colonize a planet, but you end up at test subject because some fucking asshole with megalomania. recommend this uh, Black Ops 3, believe it or not. Okay. Oop. Down doggy. Okay. There we go. Now, I might take a look at Infinite Warfare in Black Ops 3 then. I know that Black Ops 1 and 2 were good. Yeah. Not sure about the others. I enjoyed Black Ops 3, but that might have been just me. Yep. I enjoyed Cold War. I did not care for 4, mostly because it didn't actually have a campaign. I don't give a shit about... about Battle Royale modes, and multiplayer in COD is a big fucking no. Okay, now we can send these things to to be a pest to them. Huh? Yep. Okay. Let's not be on this thing. when it's electrified. Oh. Oh. Time to wall run. Which there we go. Look, it's... I swear I've seen that in some other game or and or movie and or anime before. This was the final destination. Anderson's plan indicated a recon mission within close proximity to the center of the active rings. Like a bad idea. You want me to do what? If we can obtain the Ark's energy signature, the militia fleet will be able to track its current location in the present day. If it doesn't go nuclear here, you mean? I mean, the timeline okay. can fall apart while we're close to it. Yep. <coughs> Pardon? It's either it's electrified or it's electrified. Yep. The only difference is, is whether those are there or not. Hello, you. I saw that. Dr. Jefferson Boyle, log two. I found myself a standard IMC survival kit, which provides me with enough flavorless rations to keep me alive for a few days. I'm hoping that's all I need. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get creative. I hate getting creative. Maybe that's the reason why you're in the wrong... You're buried alive. You can get creative. Ow. And you're dead. They were targeting this planet's moon as a test. This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony. And they moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. Oh, great. Fight there, pilot. And that broke his device. And thus Anderson went up in two places at once, and that guy fell over the edge. 
facility. I may have a plan. Meet me outside. What kind of plan? I'm just sort of busted in the area. <laughs> it's like yeah, walking we're... into the middle of a broken stargate. Yeah. Okay, this thing is basically oh. like a double barrel M1 Grand. It's spaceful traversal. It's... Great. It's they a made a Death Star <laughs> in miniature. They made a miniature oh. Death Star that fires time. Oh, yeah. dear. Oh, I'd like to spend some time today to talk about the value of human life. <laughs> there is no value to human life. Yeah, that actually that seems to Now that I yeah. have your attention, to be more precise, human life to a certain limit is expendable. We are self-perpetuating yet self-destructive, adaptable yet flawed, and always, always resource intensive. We are endless consumers of resources. But most relevant to our research here is one undeniable fact, that human life is abundant. Overpopulation of any colonized world is a given. Through the lens of cold objectivity, it is irresponsible to say that all individuals on such worlds are actually indispensable. Millions of humans die across the colonized world every day by any number of causes. Human life is expendable. What's that quote from now Gundam? Like the first Gundam. On the I gotta hand, look this we are up again. The populace, mm -hmm. to our commercial pursuits for the greater good. And on the other hand, there is a never-ending cry for natural resources demanded of us by the greater populations of the core systems. We must have order on the frontier if we are to achieve true progress, but the militia, in its provincial myopic lack of vision, refuses to accept this. Thus, we are at war. Now the bitter truth. Reinforcements from the core systems will not arrive for several more years. The militia gains strength day by day, taking back one planet after another. Our choices are limited. Drastic action must be taken. Again, I remind you all of one simple truth. That human life is abundant. And, as distasteful as it may sound, human life is, in truth, expendable. And so that brings us to this planet Typhon, where we have discovered a gift, a machine that will do more than change the tide. Call it fate, call it evolution, call it what you will. The truth is we have discovered our resolution, and in it lies a weapon with a powerful ability to fold space and time. We don't know who built it, but we do know that it is quite old. And most importantly, we have learned enough to bring it to life. As we use this fold weapon, we will manipulate space-time targeting anything we desire, sundering entire planets. Our restoration efforts in the mountains are nearly complete, but one task remains. We must complete a small-scale test here first, to tune the power source, or the arc, as our colleagues tend to call it. Once we have accomplished this, we will transfer the power source, the arc, the full-scale site and destroy one populated militia planet and then another until they capitulate. We will open an Einstein-Rosen bridge sending through thousands of concentrated gravitational waves. This will rip apart and sunder every molecule, every atom, and every living thing we target, resulting in total loss of life. But lest we lose sight of the bigger picture, Remember, those losses are ultimately replaceable by the inexorable march of human reproduction. Okay, we just we just but hit the end of the speech earlier. We will in fact safeguard the existence of the human race. And how expendable is your life then? 
Because those types just love talking about how expendable everyone is, but the moment they are in danger, they start shitting their pants. Yeah, and I don't know, they, do they sound very... Extremely capitalistic. Attention. Yeah. Automated security personnel have now been deployed in all non-combatant sectors. It it sounds like he and Tarkin would get uh, very much along. Yeah. And that also poses a simple question. What if they don't capitulate? Are you just going to keep destroying planets until there's nothing left and you have no resources to gather for your core systems? Also very... Uh, Battletech. Let's see. Sitrap OP217. Discovered IMC prototype fold weapon test site. We're test ring diameter 184, you know, <clears throat> 184 kilometers, not kilometers, meters. <laughs> Power source arc, location unknown. Threat critical. The MC's next target is the militia homeworld of Harmony. Recommendation the full scale fold weapon cannot function without the arc. Track the arc in the present using a scan of it up from the present. Pilot, I recommend oh, you meet me at the rings in order to scan the arc's energy signature. It said past, not present. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine getting bonked in the head by a guy who came from another timeline. Oh dear. Um, as a ROM? Yep. I'm sure you, you have noticed this, but it says you missed your Stargate. Yep. Uh, we, we, we think we know, and I think I know who the voice actor is behind uh, BT. Who is it? No, it's not. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, he has a similar style, but yeah, Teal and BT both are rather, well, emotionless with it. Yeah. yeah, they have extreme... They, the many times they were almost in sync uh, in how they speak uh, in similarity that it... Yeah, it's... So now I have to wonder, who is it then? Uh, Glenn Steinbaum. Okay. Also, who do you think voices Jack? Uh... uh I've located the controls to extend the bridge to the rings. I have marked it on your HUD. Get to that in a sec. It appears that whatever actions you took in the past have caused the remaining automated security systems. You might want to get into your robots because, you know, you're being assaulted. That door is closed there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what the, did BT just punch us into it, another timeline altogether? Nah, you got punched because another Titan came in. Scan the arc's energy signature. You got kicked by a different Titan, that's why I was said get in your robot. And, oh, I almost forgot to read the chat here. Okay, let's see. From German Lord first. Can you count just orbital drop BT on the some of the, these foes like uh, in the first Titan fall? Ouch. Now switch Mid time. Halo rings. The remaining automated now you can switch times within BT. In the that's going to put them in for a surprise. Where'd it come from? Yo, that's legions. Okay. Also, let's switch this thing back to the tone loadouts. Nope. Jordies. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, we're kind of on a time limit with this, so let's work on that. Oh, hello. The space-time continuum kind of broke. Ion. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Automatic energy rifle, stronger split shot, blocks and returns incoming fire, laser triggered explosive mines, precision shoulder laser, and a heavy chest fired laser cannon. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, yeah, that one's actually still active. Or at least registered as whole enough. Would you do something with it? Since it was rent and all? Going. Then you just love it when your knife can also hack. Not like that. What do we have? The heck is this? Uh, I think you left BT one time while ago. The charge rifle. Oh, anti. Uh, I'll just take this. Uh, here we go. Controls transfer to pilot. The arc is overloading. Everyone evacuate now. I thought I destroyed this thing. Okay. I think I'm broke. BT. Oh, great. Yeah, I think we were just uh, a few seconds too late. Hello. Why did you have just a dropship flying into the active weapons tests? To take care of the Titan that showed up out of nowhere in the active weapons test. True, but they didn't have to fly into the rings. Up this way. You. See, from Doom Lord first. I mean, if you can escape from Frozen Town, you're probably fine. Also, we should be dead. I'm Unstable fairly certain host. we should have multiple degrees of radiation of some kind. Impossibly yeah, based on I think we have every radiation sickness sickness from across time and space. Somebody hit the HUD, it needs a reboot. Scan complete. As Anderson discovered, the IMC intend to destroy the militia planet of Harmony using the full-scale version of this weapon. Pilot Cooper, our journey is far from over. We must get this data to the fleet. Yeah, or otherwise our mentor's plan, uh, yeah, our mentor's home planet is going to get nuked into, well, the prehistoric age or something. Okay, Cooper's logbook found Anderson K. We are now responsible for finishing his mission. The IMC recently conducted a weapons test against the moon of Typhon, shattering it. It's called a fold weapon. The one we saw was just a small prototype. They're going to use a large-scale version to target militia-controlled planets, forcing us to surrender the frontier. The planet Harmony is the first on that list. <clears throat> we have to get this intel to militia command. BT says an IMC interstellar beacon could do the trick. Because we're still kind of stuck on this planet. Pilot yeah, we do need a way Anderson out. Dead, but we can complete his mission if we can re-establish contact with the fleet. The interstellar beacon ahead will serve our needs. Oh dear. Get over there in time. Forty million souls on the planet Harmony will be lost. We must get this information to SRS Commander Sarah Briggs. Pilot, I see the beacon up ahead. Dude, it's been hit with something. Scans detect minimal power functionality. It may need repairs. Mm. Caution. I'm picking up multiple contacts. Hostiles confirmed. The stalkers appear to be programmed to attack the control room. It might. Right here, attacking their own place. Go. Oh, there's still some militia forces here, I think. Traces of poisonous chemicals within the fog. 
Oh, great. What is this fog? Scanning. The ground fog is a toxic byproduct of the beacon power grid. I recommend you embark when operating in hazardous environments with greater than one PDM tungsten hexafluoride. Embark and we will move out, pilot. It's a contract should always employ the buddy system to avoid becoming trapped. Wear shear drops, danger high voltage, just a bunch of shit going on here. Oh dear. Let's see here. From chat, from doing Lord first. Pilot mode engaged. That's Probably it was. I'm detecting militia forces inside that beacon control room. They are signaling distress. Patching in. Stalkers, and then make direct contact with the militia riflemen. Didn't we hear about this call before? Also, yeah, Durban Lord probably even some dark matter sickness. Oh dear. And a new one, Ronin. Lead wall, shotgun, projectile shotgun with widespread. Arc wave slows and damages enemies. Sword block, reduce damage from incoming fire. Phase dash, quick directional phase shift. And sword core. Electrifies broadsword, empowering attacks, and sword block. Let's give that a try. We can't hold them oh. off for much longer. We need your assistance. Over. Also, if your power source just produces this as a byproduct and you're not going to bother just putting it somewhere safe. Uh, and these things are called stalkers, then it seems. Yep. Also, uh, space. A new home for mankind. Where people are born and raised and die. Sorry, that was a quote from the Okay. Oh dear. There we go. Threat neutralized. Well done. This victory has raised our combat efficiency rating. BT-7274 to militia forces. All threats have been eliminated. You saved our asses. Those stalkers just kept on coming. We may not have lasted much longer. We're opening the blast doors. Come on in. Right. Captain, what is the status of the beacon? The power is shut down. We've lost all control of the beacon. We need something like this to jumpstart the system, but this one's destroyed. Designation, arc tool. Function, generates power up to five megajoules. Yeah, yeah, we know what it is. Can you repair it? Nah, we already tried. Sensors indicate another one in the substation, but it's nearly impossible to get down there. This place just ain't built for humans. Understood. Pilot Cooper, I advise caution while navigating this facility substation. You must recover the arc tool. You're the only one who can do it. Good luck, sir. Hope you make it. Only because the red shirts won't do it. I thought with Demeter shut down, the IMC wouldn't have reinforcements. They have plenty of mindless stalkers. That's for damn sure. Oh, that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, the okay. stalkers just kept coming. It's a good thing that pilot and that Titan showed up. Bliskin is Merc's. One cool second, I gotta go. Actually, I, I gotta order food. I just realized. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. It, I, I think this just tells just how long they've been fucking firing at things Pilot, here. The beacon power substation is through that door marked power grid. Yes, yes. Good luck, Pilot. They didn't build this place expecting humans to hit the button. Okay. Uh, Cooper's logbook found. It's the same. Also, okay. let's see here, from um, Durban Lord. I see you picked up my walk on the enemy tactics before I could suggest it. Yeah, well, BT suggested it. We're getting low on ammo. And soldiers. We should just seal this place off and be done with it. Yeah, that's your answer to everything, Barry. We're doing our best down here. 
Baron. I wonder how deep this facility goes. Pilot, more stalkers are expected. Hold them off, but they'll be gone too long. It looks like they could turtle up to protect their heads. That's why they're so hard to kill. Okay. Also, these things are called Marvins, I believe. The M R V N. Wish I could tell you All right. Happening. Whatever it is, we're hoping you can handle it. Pilot. Oh, great. We're going to have to go into the fog, don't we? The last pilot in our unit went that way a few hours ago, but he never came back. Be careful. Yeah. I have patched into your helmet display to monitor your progress. The channel is open if you need assistance. Yeah, this guy is doing What's us. Up with these walls? Scanning. Exposed power circuits. You should avoid physical contact. Proceed forward with caution. Got it. BT, remind me what I'm doing here. Your mission is to obtain an arc tool. Using it, we can jumpstart the power systems and get the beacon back online. Scans detected signature further within this facility substation. Oh dear. Right. I was just saying, you have to agree that they sound so convincingly like Tilk. Or very of a very similar nature. Or maybe like, both of us are just being idiots with not being able to recognize people's voices. But they all use a... Not filter, but... Voice modifier? Function. Yeah. So I guess it, it probably just added them to the modifier to the voice that he... Sounds like a team talking to a phone or something. So it might be an accident to fall in Oh, well, coincidence. Always nice when so some of these things can will show you where it will actually go. Uh, Is that a lighting glitch? Uh, that, that, that has to be a lightning glitch. Let's go into screw it at Marv. I completely missed the one I was after. Tilk is the, is the character that uh, is also the voice actor for uh, Kratos. Yep. Christopher Judge, if I remember his name correctly, which I might not. Basically, the dude, yeah, the dude with the golden icon on his forehead. Yep. In Stargate, that is. You guess one's in the ceiling now. It feels kind of weird. Like, only time I know Christopher Yodge has, that has been a... How deep does this thing go? Scans reveal a maximum depth of 300 meters. What is this place? The station's computer details this location as the power grid for an IMC interstellar beacon. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Well, so, so he was... Uh, like, the only time I see him doing light action is, is in Stargate. But he has apparently done a lot of voice acting work. I should probably look up some of his other stuff and the, for this voice actor as well. And that was me accidentally pushing the mouse against the. Uh, <clears throat> what's keeping my monitor up again? And again to the other side. Come on. There we go. Anomaly detected. Organic. Code yellow. Unauthorized personnel. Unauthorized personnel. Unscheduled for deactivation. Bypass successful. The fan exhaust is offline. Oops. Do not be afraid. 
upgrade. Your jump kit can take that fall. Oh, yeah. Jump kit? You, it basically what allows us to double jump. Mark tool detected. Yep. 30 meters. Yep. Anyone order salsa? Okay. Let's take the long route this time, then. Oh, dear. I'll take that. Well done, pilot. You have acquired the arc tool. Return to the control room. We are ready to jumpstart the system. Uh, did, did you look at the chest? Yep. Oh. Pilot, there appears to be an override switch on the central turbine. Yeah. Okay, now we can play around by turning these things on and off again. There's something green here. I, I feel so sorry for the robot. Uh, you three ever want to learn how to fly? Well, you're getting your lessons anyways. <laughs> okay, flight lesson, good. Landing lesson, bad. And landing the hardest? Wingman. Oop. Okay. Okay, I did not expect it to just pop open like that. Okay. This is basically the revolver. From um, Double Lord first. No one can I wanna see no one can I wanna be like, give the robot back its gun its gun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's technically not a gun, it's more like a tool. Yeah, uh, oh, alright, they seem they would love to watch us do a playthrough go to war. I wouldn't mind playing that at some point or another. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I, would, I probably would not be part of it, as I said in the past. But I had tried to watch it. Yeah. I had tried. Why I got boo Oh, Welcome back. <laughs> From boards <laughs> to boo. <laughs> Hello. Oh. I just I just came back to say what did I miss? That's all I did. Yeah, but it was allowed for a short moment. <laughs> well, that's another clip. And also Rom, allow me yes. to introduce you to Wackus Bunkus! Ow. Ow. <laughs> that's that should have shattered our elbow. I just love protagonist invincibility for anything but fall damage. And even with even with that, we've got a cheat code with this with a jump back. Hemlock. It's an SMG. That's burst assault rifle. Okay. Yeah, it's a burst fire. <laughs> Apparently, I forgot about that. Ah. Time to fly. Okay, now this is part racing. Try not to die on the way over. No promises. Now that was impressive, pilot. They're waiting for you back in the control room. That's not in the pilot handbook. Good to see you back here safely, pilot. That arc tool is just what we need to signal the militia fleet. Yeah, we have plenty to tell them. Also, they might need to get Cooper some anti-radiation medicine. Back, sir. Yeah. Let's move to something else. <laughs> you, sir, are one hell of a pilot. We aren't actually even a pilot. We just got field promoted. Those were some amazing moves, sir. Uh. Uh, I've been looking for jobs and I was able to at least find one, but the problem is the job is the full week. They seem to give me a day off at least a week. I have no idea what the day off is. Maybe I get to choose it, maybe not. Okay. Also, I don't know if I'll 
got the job, so just letting you guys know. Okay. All right. Sounds Basically concerning. means that all, <clears throat> that all three of us with the multiplayer are just out of a job, though I am... I'm still starting one uh, on Monday, though I'm already having some doubts about where to stay with it because the second location they want me to go on Wednesday is two fucking hours drive. So, yeah, I'm, go oh. I'm going to need to get them. You know, I'm going to need to negotiate some way to stay within the fucking province and not have to need, you know, need to go all the way to the other side of the freaking country. Wait. Also, this struts by Cooper. He's just f so fucking proud of himself. Back and that looks like an art tool to me. I think we just got to take it off this dirt ball. Good work, Pilot Cooper. Now we can jumpstart the power to get the beacon functional. Cable secure, Captain. Glad you made it back, Cooper. Just in time to systems rewired. Now all we need is some power. Pilot, yeah. the power chamber relay. And why are you typing? There's nothing there. There's nothing. He's typing on a keyboard that does nothing. That our tool was worth all the trouble. Okay. Fine, whatever. Let's just go straight into the Chernobyl reactor. Will only protect you for a limited time inside the chamber. I suggest you move quickly. I wouldn't stay in there too long unless you want to be burnt to a crisp. I think that's the least of everyone's worries when it's a radiation. It's a radiation hazard. Yeah. Yep. Keep shooting. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. 100%. I recommend there, now get out. Great job. There, congratulations. Not you only got 3.6 6 rotten again. Not great, not terrible. Open those shutters. Let's get that beacon up and running. Opening shutters. Diagnostic complete. Power 100%. So, yeah, that thing I said about Cooper needing some anti-radiation meds. Yeah, now he needs yeah. all of them. Only. There. Captain, the uplink targeting module is offline. Not good. I bet the IMC are on their way. That is a reasonable assumption. Accord. Can we bypass the I just realized no, the sir. people they use Not for the best. people they use for experimentation the with the man. time thingy right. one a couple of levels ago. Use your skills. Yeah, they were literally their own the colonists. You'll need to repair yep. the beacon on site and get back here as fast as possible. Uh, That's making you question uh, how many other quote unquote colony ships were nothing more than just harvesting test subjects. Yeah. Oh dear, and also, we were wondering, I just reacted to something I saw in the sky. Turn a bit towards Rom, Captain, and look in the sky. The huh. shattered fucking moon that they blew up with their failed test. Yeah, they blew up the moon with the, with one of the tests, of, with the uh, fault weapon. Uh, oh, I didn't know it was the moon of this planet we were on. Oh. We've already lost a lot of good soldiers over there. Okay, now let's see why what they fucked with to lock this thing down. Scans indicate a fallen pilot. My memory recalls this pilot as an exceptional fighter, proven well during the fracture operation. What's fracture? It's actually a, a map fracture from the first the game. game of a major combat refueling operation conducted by the militia on the planet Victor. We sustained many casualties, but the fleet survived. Damn. Uh, you stepping straight through whatever the hell that is, BT. I mean, he's a robot. He doesn't have to worry that much about radiation sickness. My scans detect a functioning uplink targeting module 428 meters northeast. My analysis indicates a throw is our only option here. I can throw you across the gap. Are you sure about this? There is a 68% chance of success. Well, it's higher than a 50, so fuck it. 
there is a 32% chance of an incomplete traversal, resulting in catastrophic trauma, massive internal bleeding. Now, don't tell me the rest of it. Just fucking chuck me before I change my mind. Three knots, heading 274, range 95 meters, projectile mass 89 kilograms. Trust me. It almost ended up getting through. I think I'm going to need some new underpants. Copy that. Noted for the next supply drop. Richter, this is Blisk. Yeah, here's Richter. That damn pilot is trying to use the beacon. End this. I'm counting on you. Blisk out. Oh, great. Extremely Australian man. Get to the Gets now. not Arnold Schwarzenegger Find here. Copy that. Zulu one kilo one, move in. Alpha two, get soldiers on ground, move in. Okay, or they must have South translators African. installed. Yeah, probably. Or maybe they're South African. Yeah, then I would have been able to at least understand it. Is IMC dropships headed to your location? And... The location at the bottom of the pit. I'm gonna grab some water. That damn pilot is trying to use the beacon. Okay. I'm counting on you. Let's go out. All Let's security see. units, this is Richter. Get to the beacon now. Find the kleine Mann and lass mich nicht hängen. Okay, find the little Zero man and don't Kilo leave me moving. hanging. Alpha 2, get soldiers on ground. Move it! Have you tried the elevator? Okay, the crane. I'm wrong about what it was, but it actually turns out to be what you need. Close enough. Hmm. Uh, IMC dropships headed to your location. Did they just pop in out of war? Sort of, I presume. Okay. I didn't know we were in for the K. I was thinking more from more along the lines of Star Trek. All right. Yep. Thank you. Everyone, do a load of hers. Eat the crew scene. <laughs> I'll take that. Yep. Really, dude, you're just going to run all that way. I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. All right. Ow. <laughs> okay, that shield hurts. <laughs> oh, that actually turns them to my side. Okay. Should have done that earlier. Okay. There we go. Have fun dealing with those. Oh, uh, you. Yeah. What the heck was that, Captain? And one of those tick bombs. Oh, I, I knew it was a bomb. I just knew all of it. What kind of fruit was that? A very poor one. Be smarter of you to just back up. Who would be? Bravely run away! You cloak for a bit. You, you sure firing those off inside is a good idea? Ew. Diverting forces to a 
assist. ETA, three minutes. Okay, there's the stupid thing. Okay, another crane. There. Okay, good thing that these things weigh a ton, that so they don't end up swaying back and forth a lot. Okay, I should probably switch out my revolver sooner or later. Let's see. That should do. Uh -oh. oh, hello. There. Probably the only one we'll find. Okay, I see. Then we need to turn Sorry. this one. So that they li both line up. One of nine bloody hits. Okay. I have no idea if this is an this gets close enough, but I guess we'll find out. There we go. Thank you for double jump. Yeah, I will not be able to handle this game. Yep. Okay, that was mostly just me screwing around. Hostile pilot sighted, headed your way. Acknowledge. Kilo on board, you copy. Come in, Kilo on board. Sounds like we really are already dealt with. Engage the target at Beacon 4. Copy that. Position at Beacon 4, Gantry. Standing by the intercept. Hmm. You what almost the? went over. Did you bounce? No, I just double jumped to get out of that. Oh, hello. Okay, apparently not the only one we'll be finding. Bye-bye. Let me just pull back a little bit. Yep, that fucker snuck up on me. Okay. Let's try this again. Yep. The first smart thing those grunts have done. Uh, their mistake was not running away immediately after. Nope. Have fun with that. Nope. There. Yep. There we go. Open this up. Wild plane targeting module detected. Check your HUD. <laughs> okay, that's me. Beacon 4 gantry team is KIA. Pilot may be attempting to transmit from there. Zulu 1 6 Director, the pilot's intentions are unknown. He may be attempting to draw us away from the Titan. Nine. Focus on the pilot. I have other plans for the Titan. Okay. We'll have those two covering our back. It sounds like Richter is on his way over. So we may as well get as many little assistance as we can. Good. You are at the controls. Move the dish to the far right to bring it within your reach. A 
Almost shot that one. Okay, here they come. Have fun with these. Some more for them. <laughs> oh, ticks. Go oh, and a Reaper. <laughs> he shot his freaking head off before he could punch me. Thunderbolt. Let's try it. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Okay, not too I effective like against it. small targets. But I'm guessing this is going to absolutely murder any Reaper that we fire it at. So I get the feeling most of the enemies have already been taken care of by the Stalkers. Alright, wise words from Dumbledore the First. Electro Ball Cannon at the face. Of that dish. Okay. Really, dude? You're the sole survivor. <laughs> Take it and leave it. Oh, bloody I've been missing a lot of the shots here. Yeah, this has been going on a pretty good pace. There. Yeah, it says, seeing you can reprogram the friendlier bot to fight uh, the one that walk around with a smiley screen. Yeah, but they're not they're not combat bots. So all they would be was just fodder. I'm guessing the IMC troops are just going like, what the fuck is this guy saying? Oh yeah, after we stream, I think I'm going to take a look at uh, just what sort of ooh, what sort of speedrunning scene this game has. Okay, I need to get up. Oh, hello. Gravity Star. Hostile infantry. <laughs> okay, the fuck did that guy go? Oop. Welcome back. Ow. Recommend we secure this area before proceeding with the repairs. Oh yeah, that's it wipes those out. There we go. Okay. There we go. Hello, I'm back. And I just forgot I just muted myself. I've been talking to nothing. Last <laughs> Oh dear. Well, how long have you been back? About. Right before you came back. 
Okay, what you order then? Ah, uh, chicken. Uh. You're the whole chicken? Well, I mean, for me, for my mom, for my brother. I hope you cooked it first, at least. Yes. It's cooked. Okay, pilot. Barely. That was tough. How are you, BT? Damage report. Critical systems are functioning properly. And despite your self-evaluation, I am certain Captain Lastimosa would have said you fought well, Cooper. Thanks. Any specific reason to get out? Uh, that. We're going to fix the damn yeah, dish. Protocol 2, mission update. Replace the uplink module. The socket for the module is at the top of this dish. A throw combined with additional climbing is required. Great, here we go again. Bonk. <laughs> Imagine if Cooper just dies from that. You like get splattered oh, on it like it's a car like a like it's a cartoon. We're finding a lot of these in this level. Yeah, yeah. that was like nine. I think that was a hole. Let's, this is slow. Go ahead. Kane and Ash are dead. Someone's been killing your mercs, and it looks like one of our radios. Has okay, been so hit. I just realized are they South African? I think at least the guy in charge is South African. Oh, I'm Violet. This is Cuban Blisk. Been listening to us, eh? You want to be a hero, yeah? Okay. Keep coming at me. Keep coming. But if I were you, I'd stop trying so hard to be a hero. You'll live longer. South African or maybe New Zealand? Maybe. Not, not too much like Australian. Honestly, my money's on jump. South African. Then again, when uh, humanity is spread all across the cosmos, uh, nationality doesn't mean too much more. Of specific really. countries. Uh, no, nope, apparently he really is from South Africa. Okay. There. Will automatically reorient itself once the new module is installed. You can, why did it make that noise? Was this thing vacuum packed? It has holes for air in it. It. Oh shit, we turned it. And it turns out that we forgot. And we're dead. <laughs> Cooper, the dish is back online. Get back here and we'll send this message to the team. Outstanding work. Richter, this is Blisk. The IR, I'm already on my way. Richter out. This is Richter. Intercept and destroy that pilot. Then execute the remaining militia troops. Reapers inbound. Your forces lock down the control room. Threats detected. Copy that. Lock it down. We will assist from here. There we go. Okay, I thought it would cut it in two. It cut it in two tries. There. Caution. Anomaly detected. Possible hostile Titan. I am C ground squads. I'm looking for someone to promote. I'm also looking for someone to kill. You get to choose which one you wish to be. On the Edge Market Barrier. 
Okay, no clue what the last bit was. He is generically German. Yeah. <laughs> Missed me with that. No, I will. Okay. Oh, hello. Care to have a real fight? Let's see what you got up close and personal. Would have to back life for the inclined young man. Where are you going, or do you want to run away like a little boy? Oh, so we could have just shot him right there and then. Apparently, we have a sense of fair play. But we also have a sword, so... Fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't even give us the... <laughs> the satisfaction. Like, I would have loved to just pull him out there and crush him. Okay, just send this big ass WhatsApp. Seven two seven four. Protocol two. Uphold the mission. Report intel to the fleet attached to the SRS unit. Solid copy. Good to hear you guys are still down there. We're receiving your data now. Okay. I was half expecting something else to pop up again. BT seven two seven four. Your data recorder says your original pilot was KIA. Correct. Captain Ty Lastimoso was killed in action. I am now linked to an acting pilot, Rifleman Jack Cooper. Wait a minute. Lastimoso linked you to a rifleman? Yes. He had no other options. Understood. We'll get you transferred to a fully qualified pilot. Objection. Cooper is my pilot. Our combat effectiveness rating now exceeds 90%. Request permission to retain this link. You're lucky our backs are up against the wall, BT. Permission granted. That's high praise coming from a machine, Cooper. Thanks to your scan data of the Ark, we've tracked its energy signature to an IMC base right here on Typhon. We don't have much time. Let's go. Okay, they didn't even, they didn't even have time to ship it off world yet. Okay. Cooper's logbook. We've rejoined what's left of yeah, we've rejoined what's left of the Night Militia fleet. Uh, Commander Sarah Briggs is leading a mission to capture the Fold Weapons power source, known as the Ark. The Ark, the, the Ark scan data I got from the frozen explosion finally paid off. It allowed us to track the Ark's present day location. It's right here on Typhon at an IMC airbase waiting transports. <clears throat> We're about to hit that airbase with every Titan we can muster. <laughs> We're going to bring them such a headache. Oh dear. Uh, let's see, Durvin Lord. I defend BT like, excuse me, he's just not a machine. He's not just a machine. Yeah, he is very intelligent for an AI. Uh, so you'd think a Titan would one hit a, a Reaper, yeah. yeah. Another favorite scene of mine is coming up. Get in BT and stomp. <laughs> okay. They set the line. 
He said the thing! Okay, yeah. Yeah, 90%. Okay, basically we're storming Normandy here. We're storming Space Normandy this time. Okay, we're clearly not meant to go forward as much as it make you think. Okay. I get the feeling we're going, supposed to go for that. Okay, then we need to wait for the, the set piece to finish. Yeah, that charge into Normandy until they've taken care of the guns. Uh, okay, they did take down the guns. Hello? No, you don't. We are the ones who return to sender. That's a bit much. Take off the weakened ones. Keep moving, that ship can take off at any moment. Badger six, taking sideline. Okay, we're back to our first loadout. No, you don't. Auto. If don't go get him on firing line, you idiots. Dude, okay. that was his burst core, or his laser core, more accurately. There's Briggs. Someone behind us. There. Okay. Yes, yes. Yep. One more. Yep. Warning. Okay, we need a <laughs> we need a battery. Thank you. Careful of that. Not the time. There we go. Okay. Elk four, store two. Lock this area down. Watch out, IMC Titans up ahead. BT, pilot Cooper, you're with me. Let's go. Go, go, go. 
you seriously you should take cover better. Yep, Briggs. Mm. Press X to doubt. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Also, am I wondering if it's weird that like, we are halfway through the game or by the end of it? I think we are at least past the halfway. We've got to get to that ship before it takes off. Take those Titans out, pilot. Move it, pilot. Move it! So I guess we might be done with this game sooner than expected. Yeah. At least we have hearts. At least we are still alive. <laughs> Lucky, he says, as he falls down to earth dead. Okay, we need a battery. Yes, yes. Here we go. Get ready, pilot. Going up. That was the easy part. Oh. Well, you're doing a good job, Cooper. As far as I'm concerned, you've earned your pilot certification. This way. Now let's finish this thing and get home. Hello. North Star. Let's see, sniper, railgun that charges up while zoomed, tether trap, mine that locks on nearby yo, that locks nearby enemy titans down, vertical takeoff hover, create sustained explosive on impact with cluster missile, and flight core, hover unleashing rockets at targets below. I think I'll actually stay with the expedition there kit. She is. We still have time to intercept the arc. Move, move, incoming hostiles! It's just moving, moving. Close. I think I just ran into someone. See? To pull back a bit. Yep. Thank you. A bunch of extras here. There we go. Enjoy all of those. Ew. We're lucky that we can use that dodge to get out of some of those attacks. Yep. Okay, that was a bit wasted, but oh well. Reaper. I 
Keep missing with those. There. Are you trying to be a sniper? You've got a shotgun and a sword. Sniping with a shotgun? What, is that even possible? Yeah, if it was a slug shotgun, maybe. There we go. Okay, not sure I've seen that been done before. Are they basically just are they launching yeah, they're launching those things. Okay, and ticks. Yeah, of course. Oh. I should last to be soon out of time. Yeah. You can explain why I'm sleepy. Again, I did wake up about four in the morning. So. Yep. Bloody seagulls. Okay, we're almost here. That's one checkpoint. Yeah, people, I was able to snooze. Oh. oh, yeah. I was only able to snoop properly. Again, seagulls. I was about to ask, yeah. Okay. Oop, friendly forces. There we go. Okay, let's give this one more shot. The Draconis is almost sealed. Move, move! Their escort is here. We don't have much time. Yep. First floor activated. Yep. Okay, I, I'm I'm pushing too far ahead. I think that's the problem for me, which makes me the target of all of them. Okay, let's let some of them push a bit forwards. Deal with your scores because they can be really high in damage dealers. Like all all titans are high damage dealers, but scores up close, especially. That was not smart. They got the air support. Also, I'm back. Welcome back. God damn it, another one of you. Let 
Unless this is slow. The Ark is headed your way. I'll let Viper take it from here. See you soon. Oh, great. Did they, did they literally wait for the last second to bring that fucking thing on board? Apparently. Get to a ship. We're going after him. So we just storm Normandy, Space Normandy for nothing then? Yeah. The Draconis is making a beeline for the full-scale fold, uh, fold, yeah, fold weapon with the Arc on board. We're going after it using some commandeered IMC transports. These widows are fast, but so is the Draconis. Sarah says it's not over yet. This fight's about to go airborne. Okay, but I think we'll have to leave that for next time, though. Because <laughs> there's no I mean, way we can get for much further in this in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I'm getting sleepy. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think you can see why people love this game. Oh, yeah. Okay. But before we end the stream, of course, let's go look for someone to raid. So... Fritz. I see we raid Durant and unload the first fridge. <laughs> no. I see the OBS screen. Yeah. And uh, as well. Uh, there, Twitch, go live. Okay. And yeah, Durvin in chat, uh, yeah, Firefight alone may, may, <laughs> may take five minutes. And Jess, let's see, don't tell me I've missed you. <laughs> yes, you missed it, but you can at least watch the VODs, or VODs, seeing as, well, we think we just got split into two because of you know, stupid fare that was not worth it. Uh, let's see, there's a good amount of people online, so we'll have to narrow this down to a few. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not going to really stay. I got lunch and I am hungry. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Okay, enjoy your chicken. You guys do enjoy your food. I don't know what time is it on your end, so I'll see you guys later. Almost 10 p.m. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Later. Leave <clears throat> rope and have a good feast. Yes, yeah, have okay. a good feast. Uh, yeah. yeah, Jess, uh, all of us Devon's. Okay. Let's see. We have the Raid God of Pizza who is playing Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. We have Cordust who is playing After Party. And Lashres, who is playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Let's see, a fourth one, maybe. Um, we've got Touch Skilly Tail playing Pacific Drive. Any of those sound of interest, or shall I take a pick? Hmm. I do see Hisaya is playing New Vegas as well. You, you were literally. Oh, wait. Wait, where did I go? Yeah, I guess they just went offline then. I did I did notice the mid list moving, so that meant that either someone came online or someone went offline. I okay. guess they were... Um, all right. Or maybe they had some technical difficulties. Also a possibility, of course. Uh, all right, but, I'll yeah. let you think before I'm so sleepy. Uh, let's go say hi to Lashris. It's been a bit, I think. Yeah, uh, it, it has. It has. Okay. Copy the name. He's doing some sort of mini race mini game or something. Okay. Slash raid and paste. And yeah. <clears throat> uh, tomorrow, probably some Minecraft stuff. Still not fully sure what to do with it. Uh, maybe some occultism, familiar stuff. But for the most part, we'll have to see. I have been working on a uh, mob grinder. Uh, well, made working. I basically made a small one, which is doing pretty well. I just need to get. I need just need to get source to it to power it. And yeah, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow is Sunday. Monday, maybe we can get started on Borderlands Two now with a full party of four. If you're lucky. Yeah. And at the very least, if we can stream Thursday, not, not Thursday, Tuesday, but <laughs> we'll be able to get started on the Battle for Middle Earth 2. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah, which will have its own original story that is not tied down by the movies. Not to say that the, yeah, the good campaign with Battle for Middle Earth 1 was <laughs> certainly enjoyable, I'd say. The evil campaign was ups and downs, I'd say. 
<clears throat> yeah. But yeah, for now, uh, before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Durvan Lord. And let's see, I think Marco popped up as well, or was that during the earlier stream? Earlier. Okay, okay. and I see Grandmaster one. Player is lurking in chat. <laughs> So yeah, thank you all, and thank you, uh, thank you, Drakir and Ram for joining as well. You're welcome, so always, my friend. And thank you all for joining and watching. And yeah, uh, but yeah, let's get this raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. But until then, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm some, why am I blanking on my outro? Until then, have a nice day and. Why am I blanking on this? <laughs> Until yeah, next time. Peace, everyone, and watch out for undead species seagulls.